Hey everyone, Ali here and thanks for stopping by. I recently purchased this Castlecraft uh, Syracats rubber stamp and I got asked how do I use them. So when you do purchase these they actually do come unmounted. So that's how it actually comes. So all the Syracats are all in uh, one uh, rubber mat here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut these out uh, before I actually mount them. So I will be mounting these on the EZ or EZ mount um, stamp and store. Um, and this is double sided uh, mounting foam. Okay, so I'll cut these out and we'll get started. Now when you cut the rubber out, you want to make sure that you cut a little bit away from the raised edges. So you don't want in any way to damage the actual stamp. So I'm cutting about half centimetre away from the edge. So I've actually cut them out uh, about half a centimetre from the raised area. So I don't know if you can see that, but they're all cut out. Now I do cut them out like this because it's just nice and easy, okay? And what I normally do is I'll stamp them after I actually uh, put the easy mount on just to make sure that they're all okay. But I'm going to mount these first. When you use the easy mount foam, one side of this is sticky. So you will actually pop your rubber stamp flat side down on the sticky side. So just like I am. So the raised stamp will be facing you. So I've got enough here to put three of these rubber stamps that I've cut out down. So that'll be in a nice strip for me to cut out. Now once I've done that, I'll actually pop paper that I've released over and just give it a really good rub just to make sure that those rubber stamps have stuck down. So just using my tonic uh, scissors here, I'm just going to cut the strip out so it's more easy manageable to cut the easy mount foam around. But before I do that, I've got my homemade embossing buddy here and I'm just going to go over and just get rid of that sticky part around the stamp. It doesn't matter if it gets onto the stamp because I'll clean them off later, but this will actually get rid of all that sticky EZ mounting uh, tape and it's going to be more manageable and easy to cut out. So now I'm ready to cut them out. I'm just going to cut them apart first. Once again, it's just easy to manage and I'm just going to go round and just cut around the rubber part. So I'm not going to cut any rubber, just the EZ mounting part. And it doesn't matter if you've got any EZ mounting left over the rubber uh, because I've gotten rid of that stickiness as well. So I'll do that for all my stamps. So here's a close up look of how the rubber stamp will look and now it is a mounted rubber stamp. So I've cleaned off the stamps just with a baby wipe and I'm just going to peel off the liner of the static cling side of the easy mount foam. So this side will actually be able to be mounted onto either an acrylic block or a stamping press platform. So I'm just going to try this out. So I've got my Tonic Tim Holtz stamping platform here and I'm going to change the lid around so it's on the rubber side. Because it's thicker it needs to accommodate that thicker rubber stamp. So I've got some Nina Solar White here and I'm just placing my stamps with the cling side up and I'll just pop the magnets in so the paper doesn't move and I'll just close the lid and you will see that they will actually cling to the lid, no worries. So I'm just going to do a test stamp. I've just got some archival ink here and I'll just stamp these out. So 
So these have stamped out first time pretty good, so I don't need to re-stamp them. You can also see that I didn't get any ink on the edge of the mounting stamp, so that didn't transfer to the paper. Now I'm just doing a little bit of an experiment as well, just with some glue, because I don't know if this is going to work or not. So if you don't have any mounting tape, just thought I'd do a quick experiment. So I've got Aileen's Tacky Glue and I've got Elmer's School Glue here. So that's the Tacky Glue and it's all dry and that's the Elmer's PVA Glue. So I've got my stamping platform on clear. So I'll just turn that over and this is just to solely see if it will stick to the lid. So I'm just going to pop both on. Okay, I'll close my lid. Just give it a press down. Okay, so the Aileen's Tacky Glue does stick and it is a little bit on the tacky side and that is dry as well. Okay, so yep and it doesn't move either so that would be really good if you didn't have mounting um, tape to use the Aileen's Tacky Glue. The PVA glue doesn't stick it just moves okay so I wouldn't be using that that one but the Aileen's Tacky Glue you could quite possibly coat the back of the stamp with some tacky glue, let it dry, and then it would looks like it would work. So, so as you see, it doesn't move. Because what you want is, if you need to stamp for a second time, you don't want this stamp moving. You want it that it is in place. So, um, that's another little tip there if you don't have any mounting foam. Now I have mounted all my stamps on the EZ mount foam. So all these here can now be mounted on the back side of the cover, which is a shiny side. So you can see that my mounted rubber stamps will actually cling to the back. This makes for easy storage also, because I just actually put it back into the clear envelope. And as you can see, it doesn't fall off. So don't forget, if you don't have any EZ mounting foam, you could use the Aileen's Tacky Glue to help this cling to either a acrylic block or a stamping platform. So I hope you've enjoyed this hints and tips for today. If you have, please give me your thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Until next time, happy crafting. See ya.